Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to make some modular fireworks. Um, basically so we can have a nice firework display without having thousands of command blocks. First thing we're going to want is a little uh, clock objective. Uh, objective clock. Scoreboard objectives add clock. It's a dummy. We're going to use that as our timer. And let's make a test firework. Test firework. Okay. Positive Z is that way. Summon firework rocket. Positive Z plus two with no information. And we'll just get a little poof because it'll instantly explode. Let's give it a lifetime. This is how long it lives until it explodes. 30 ticks. Much better. Okay, now let's do an explosion. Okay, to do the explosions, we will say fireworks, fireworks item, and it will have an ID of firework rocket, and it will have a count of 1B. Still, we haven't added anything to make a difference. Inside tag, oops, inside tag, and then inside fireworks, and then inside explosions. And this was a list, so we can have as many explosions as we want. We have one explosion goes in there, next one goes in there. We're just going to have one. Uh, first thing we'll do is type, and I'm going to say zero. So its type is uh, what's well its type is its type. See that type is small ball. We can have uh, one for big ball, two for star shaped, three for creeper shaped, and four for a burst. Type one. Okay, let's add some flicker. Now flicker, I think you have to have really because it gives you the crackle and a twinkle. Nice. Let's also give it a trail. And now you'll see that, there we go. Each one's got trails and flickers. Okay, now important bit, colors. Colors is a list, square brackets. So we can have more than one color. At the beginning, we need I semicolon, not colon, semicolon. And the colors are stored as integers. I'll put some, I'll put the 16 basic Minecraft colors in the description for you. Uh, I'm gonna read these off a notepad. I'm gonna have red, one, one, seven, four three five three two so i've got red Boom. and since it's a list we can have two i'm going to put red and black because i know black is zero okay let's make it a bit nicer let's not have black let's have orange one five four three five eight four four so red and orange yeah okay now colors open square brackets find the first close square brackets there and we'll add fade colors again it's a list we need the i semicolon um we've got red and orange so probably fade into yellow would make sense one four six zero two zero two six i think that's right so we've got orange uh, and a bit of yellow at the end. Okay, I like that firework. That's going to be my firework. Now, let us create an activator to activate module one. Activate module one. Set block, positive Z, redstone block. There it is and here oh now check this arrow is going up that could have caused me problems make sure the arrow is going the right way there we go you're going to be repeating and we are going to scoreboard players add normally i would say fake player but if we have more than one module then if we call them all fake player it's going to interfere with each other so we're going to call it module one and we're going to add one to his clock score okay 
and then we're going to execute if score module one clock matches I'm gonna have three fireworks I'm gonna set firework one off on tick one two is gonna go on tick 20 and three is gonna go on tick 40 and then we can reset so we'll reset at 41 or higher run and we'll set block minus two white wall okay so when this gets this is going to add one each time when it gets to 41 we'll stop the timer and we'll also need to reset it so we'll make this conditional if this successfully places the block this will run and we will just say scoreboard players set module one clock back to zero so we should now have a little time that runs for two seconds yeah okay now let's uh copy this here all the way up to matches 141 run home copy let's get another command block uh, but i'm not going to say 41 or higher i'm just going to say one i don't want to say or higher otherwise my firework will keep going off just give it equals one and let's get the command for my firework shift home control copy run that firework and let's change where it's flying from let's fly it from here build tab 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 all right so let's go back to there it is let's put in set coordinates so this is going to run for two seconds or 41 ticks on tick one it's going to fire a rocket now on tick 41 it's going to set itself off excellent now we're just going to control middle mouse to copy that and its data put two of them down and we're just going to go here i'm going to say this one is going to be 20 and this one is going to be 40 so it should launch a rocket every second now at the same time you're doing this this is where you'd probably want to play around and change some information in here let's change let's do something let's change this one to a burst and let's change this one to star shaped where's the star shape number three i think is it no, number two star shaped so we have small ball star shaped burst all the same colors though i'm not going to bother changing the colors Okay, that's going to do for my fireworks so that's that's my first module I can now activate that whenever I want and fire rockets from here mm. but that's the set location so we probably want to be able to move the location around the place otherwise it's uh, not that useful so what we want to do is create a little armor stand I think instead so let's go here which way is that? Positive X. Summon armor stand. Positive X2. Tags to this. You can have more than one. And module one origin. How long is that? Don't make it too long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think 16 is the limit, so that should be all right. Um, summon armor stand. Now, if you're doing this yourself, you probably want to make this a marker because we don't need to do anything clever with it. We just need, we're just marking some coordinates. So if you're doing this yourself, don't use an armor stand, use a marker. I'm using an armor stand because I just want to be able to see it. There it is. Now, let's go in here and change these commands so instead of run summon firework rocket let's change these coordinates to relative coordinates like that run summon and here we're going to put another run and in here we're going to say execute at entity tag oh execute 
at st tag equals module one origin okay so let's just see what we've changed there execute at nst tag equals module one origin run and we're running at set coordinate uh, relative coordinates so it should pretty much look the same yeah okay so let's do that again one more time uh, cancel that one we've changed that let's change this one so we're going to where it says the coordinates we're changing the coordinates to relative coordinates run execute at any entity tag equals module one origin and we think we have to have another run there run yep done last one one two three run execute at any entity tag equals module let's spell things correctly module one origin run so at the moment it looks exactly the same but now we can move it wherever we like so we can move you from there so let's take two off there and let's put 10 there now it runs over there or if you want you can execute at more than one place at a time so now we have fireworks there and here so you can see we've, we are not changing the amount of fireworks command blocks but we are multiplying our, our, our amount of fireworks quite nicely let's make a little timer um, pop you down there this will be our firework controller we're only going to have one module you can have as many modules as you like uh, set block set block two in front redstone block I shouldn't say two in front because it's not two in front it's two in the positive Z it's just I happen to be looking in the positive Z so coincidentally it is two in front of me as well okay there's that now I am going to copy let's clear my inventory so control middle mouse middle mouse middle mouse doink 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 don't forget the last one is conditional okay and all I'm going to change in here is module one firework control let's copy that name done <clears throat> dot module one firework control dot module one firework control okay now I want to set off the module move the armor stand set off the module move the armor stand um, so I think probably we will reset at around about I don't know let's say 175 or higher I think that's probably the math in my head is right we'll find out in a minute so when it gets to 175 ticks or higher we will turn off right first thing we're going to do is activate this module so let's get here on tag. so first thing is we'll activate that module execute Oops, shift home. Execute if score. We call them firework control. Clock matches. Uh, probably one, I suppose. We want to start at one. Yeah, one. Run set block. Coordinates I just copied, which activates module one redstone block replace it so that will activate that module 
and then it will reset at 175 ticks. Let's test it. Okay. He's turned, module one has turned itself off. We wait a little bit of time. I suppose it's nearly turned out. He turns himself off. Okay. So that lasted, what, 41 before it resets. So this number has to be higher than 41 for this next bit. Let's copy that block, control middle mouse. Uh, so of saying one, let's say about 70. And we're not gonna set a block this time. What we're gonna do is we are going to, we're gonna move, we're gonna move the, the origin armor stand. So is it equals 70 run execute? As any entity tag equals module one origin as entity at itself run tp and we'll just move it three blocks in the positive z so i'll move it that way and then i'm going to copy this control middle mouse this one this one is the one that activates the module what number have we got in here score equals 70 okay so let's go back score equals 70 and we've moved it so actually what we could do here is we could make this conditional and we could remove all of that so timer counts up we get to one we activate the module pew, pew, pew. time is still counting we get to 70 and we teleport the module three in the z if we teleport the three if we teleport the module three in the z then we'll do this one which is activate the module again so it should fire twice one two three when we get to 70 it should two three okay and then when this runs out right let's copy the move it's clear control middle mouse so the last one was on 70 but basically we're just going to change the number you could you could change teleport these wherever you like i'm just sliding them along 130 we move it and then we'll control middle mouse this one and we'll just set it to conditional so now we should have three lots running oh look he's moved we do probably have to reset him at the end we'll do that later we'll, look, we'll put a little reset in it two three we wait a little bit we move him wait a little bit we move him nice okay so we've got to the end we've fired another one on what time have we gone here 130 we need to have enough time for this thing to fire off before we move him so at the end actually let's copy the one that one because that's got a time in it fire up control equals 130 we will say we put 175 so we can put 174 or 174 yeah at 175 it stops run execute as tag equals module one origin at itself run teleport let's hard code this in let's say done get rid of you Let's get these coordinates fill tab 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 draw copy oh, and let's put them in here okay so we should now what we could do right at the beginning is we could summon that armor stand or marker do you use a marker we could summon that at the beginning here instead of actually having to place it ourselves one two three move three blocks one two three move three blocks one two three back to the start okay nice 
nice and now we have a nice firework system which is incredibly easy to modify you you inside that block there you're right there okay let me put a minus eight as well <clears throat> so just by adding extra arm stands or, or markers oh he's stuck in the block okay now because we hard coded that they all came back to here one two three so let's take the hard code out so we moved it three we moved it three how many times did we move it three was it just two times i think it was just two times so let's take out the hard code and let's just say minus six okay and this first one is going to start in this block again because because that's where he wants to start there was someone wrong there. Someone wrong there. There's someone wrong there. Using a firework control. There we go. And they all come home. <clears throat> okay. So now with your little controller you can move him around wherever you like activate the module and fire off the command block uh, fire off the fireworks you can have different modules running different fireworks you get the idea of what you can do so we can have a huge display here but instead of how many fireworks are we firing one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty seven fireworks we're not using 27 fire block uh, command blocks for each one we're just using this little bit here and then modifying it with this bit here Okay, so that is our firework module. And yeah, it's nice when people finish a map if they've got something exciting. A bit of cake to eat and some fireworks to watch. So, I will see you in the next video. Bye!